In 1906, a young Texan had a vision of starting a company that would build its reputation on delivering quality products and exceptional service. A company that cared about its employees as much as it did for its customers. A company that would do business in an ethical manner with the very best suppliers and be a positive citizen in the communities in which it operated. A company whose uncompromising commitment to its customers and their success would stand the test of time for generations. That young Texan had a vision, and over a century later, that vision continues to thrive and grow. That young man was Benjamin Ellington Keith, and his vision is the Benny Keith Company. After humble beginnings as a produce-only company in Fort Worth, Benny Keith Foods has grown into the eighth largest food service distributor in the country. A customer of Benny Keith would be classified as anywhere you could get a prepared meal. That customer base would include restaurants, hotels, schools, healthcare, and many other commercial and non-commercial businesses. Benny Keith Foods offers its customers more than 20,000 products, consisting of well-known national brands as well as many quality exclusive brands. The categories of products offered cover all broad line distribution categories, dairy, fresh bread, fresh and frozen meats, frozen foods, produce, poultry, seafood, disposables, and restaurant equipment and supplies. Benny Keith Foods has grown across the Southwest with eight distribution centers in four states, covering an 11 state area. Our newest distribution center is located in Missouri City, Texas, which services Houston, South and East Texas, as well as Louisiana. The distribution center is the heart of a food service operation and products come to us from suppliers by tractor trailer or by rail and are slotted and maintained by product type. It varies by item, but some items are in our distribution center for only a few hours, while others can be with us for several weeks. The focus of our dedicated employees in every distribution center is to maintain a safe and clean environment for all products and assuring that those products are received, slotted, rotated, pulled, and delivered in good condition to our customers every day. Purchase orders for inbound product are produced based on demand from our sales history to customers. Those orders are sent electronically to the suppliers and depending on the lead time and location of the supplier, those orders could be delivered in a few weeks via rail or within a few hours if the source of the product is local. Once an appointment for delivery has been made through the logistics department, the truck will arrive and be directed to the proper door for unloading. The warehouse is separated into two temperature zones. One is a cool dock where products that are frozen or need to remain cold will be temporarily placed before put away. The same would apply to the dry dock, which is where dry goods, non-foods, and equipment will be staged until they are permanently stocked. The warehouse has many different temperature areas, and depending on the product mix, there can be as many as 20 different zones. From the freezer, which can go as low as minus 20 degrees, to meat and produce zones with not only a controlled temperature, but a controlled humidity as well. It is important for the assured safety and the integrity of product that all items are kept at the proper temperature from the time it leaves the supplier to the time it arrives at the customer's door in maintaining what is known as the cold chain. To assure the cold chain, employees use thermometers to check the temperature of product as it is received and at various times while it is in the system. The dry area of the distribution center is for items that do not require special cooling requirements. This would include dry goods such as flour, sugar, canned goods, oils, pasta, and mixes. This area would also include all non-foods such as tissue, cups, to-go containers, plastic utensils, and cleaning products. Most of the items are shipped inbound and stored on wooden or plastic pallets. These pallets full of product are moved throughout the operation on specialized equipment, including forklifts and pallet jacks. It is important that our employees are well trained on all of this heavy equipment, which requires constant attention and awareness. Each employee should be dressed and outfitted with proper uniforms and equipment, such as steel toe boots, safety harnesses, outerwear for cooler and freezer areas, Many Keith employees who work in the centers are carefully trained for their surroundings and work area, as well as the procedures to follow in case of an emergency, such as fire, tornadoes, or chemical emergencies. 
The storage area of the warehouse beyond the loading dock is known as the general population and the aisles are wide enough to accommodate the standard equipment for forklifts and pallet jacks. Within the general population, there are areas known as VNA, or Very Narrow Aisles, which are designed to hold considerably more product in a smaller area because of size or item movement. These areas are accessed by a specialized forklift known as a cherry picker. In our newest center in Houston, we have installed an automated put-away and retrieval system known as an ASRS. This system is maintained by robotic cranes which can move large amounts of product automatically and efficiently. A day in the life of a distribution center begins very early as the scheduled trucks arrive for unloading. Depending on the product class, the truck will be in the proper temperature dock and the loaders will begin to remove product from the trucks and stage on the dock for put away. There are designated employees known as receivers who may have one of the most important roles in the warehouse operation. It will be their responsibility to check the load for damage, accurate temperature, accurate quantities, and correct items. Each item is assigned a barcoded label, which the receiver will attach to the product to ensure its traceability within the warehouse. This label contains information about where the product came from, what it is, and where it should be stored within the warehouse general population. The next step in the receiving process is when a designated forklift driver will be directed to put away the product. The inventory computer system will determine where the product is to be stored, and a corresponding barcode at the slot will be confirmed. All product is tracked and rotated based on the date of receipt and will be shipped on that same schedule. The daily orders are received from our sales force, where they are sorted and organized based on the location of the product in the warehouse, as well as what designated truck and route the orders will be delivered on. Our night crew will begin pulling orders late in the afternoon, which will be loaded on our delivery trucks and then delivered the next day by our route drivers. The trucks have separate temperature compartments, which keep the dry from the cooler and frozen products. The route driver will then deliver our customers' products throughout the day, assuring that the product is correct and in good condition. As you can see, the food service industry is a very involved process, from our relationships with our great customers to the ordering of product from trusted suppliers to receiving and then shipping that product. It is a 24-hour operation that doesn't stop. Benny Keith is committed to making sure each step in the process is done in a professional manner with the success of the customer in mind. Benny Keith, bringing value and delivering quality products since 1906.